Good day everyone. Welcome to One Stop Academy. My name is Anthony Chinedu. The title of this lesson is Classification of Computers. The computer systems can be classified on the following basis. On the basis of size, functionality, and the type of data they handle. Classification of computers by size. When we classify computers by size, we have supercomputers, mainframe computers, mini computers, microcomputers, and embedded computers. Supercomputers. Supercomputers process huge amounts of data and can perform over 1 trillion calculations in a second. Supercomputers are the most powerful and physically the largest by size. Because of their extraordinary speed, accuracy, and processing power, supercomputers are well suited for solving highly complex problems and performing tasks that demand huge amounts of calculations. Examples of supercomputers We have the IBM Sequoia located in the US, we have the Songwei Taihu Light located in China, we have the Grey Titan located in the US. I also have the IBM Road Runner located in the US. The following functions are those performed by supercomputers hosting extremely complex websites and decision support system for organizations. Supercomputers are also used for space exploration, controlling measures guidance systems and satellite for national defense, oil exploration, weather forecasting. The processing power of supercomputers helps climatologists predict not only the likelihood of rain, but also the pathway of hurricanes and the probability of tornado strikes. Scientific research. Scientific research depends on the ability of supercomputers to analyze data. Data mining. Supercomputers are needed to extract information from raw data gathered from data farms on the ground or in the cloud, which is data gathered from the internet. Companies use supercomputers to statistically analyze different types of data. Mainframe computers. Mainframe computers are very large, often filling an entire room and can process thousands of millions of instructions per second. In a mainframe environment, users connect to the mainframe through the many terminals wired to the mainframe. Mainframes are capable of supporting hundreds to thousands of users simultaneously. Some of the functions performed by a mainframe include flight scheduling, reservations, and ticketing for an airline. Government agencies such as the Internal Revenue Service, Electoral Commission, and the Census Commission use mainframes to track information about large populations. Vote computations, individual tax records, payroll are also performed by mainframe computers. Many large grocery and retail companies use mainframe to register sales, update stock, and manage inventory levels. Mini computers. Mini computers sometimes referred to as mid-range servers or mid-range computers are typically larger, more powerful, and more expensive than desktop computers. Mid-range computers are usually used by small and medium-sized businesses as their servers. Users connect to the server through a network by using desktop computers, notebooks, ten clients, or dump terminals. Users can also use their smartphone to connect to the server. They are also used by hospitals as well as in university server rooms or data centers to host web based applications. Examples of many computers. We have the IBM server, we have HP ProLens server, 
we also have the Dell Power Edge server. All these are mini computers. Four micro computers. Micro computers are the most frequently used type of computers, also known as personal computers (PC). A microcomputer is a small computer system designed to be used by one person at a time. The various sizes of microcomputers can be grouped into desktop computers, laptops, tablets, and handheld computers. Desktop. Desktop are the conventional ones which fit on the desk and usually consist of a system unit, a monitor, a keyboard and a mouse. These computers have desktop cases designed to be placed horizontally on a desk surface, usually with a monitor sitting on top of the system unit. Today, the most common type of desktop computers uses a system unit called tower, which is designed to sit vertically on the floor or on the table. Laptop computers. Laptops are lightweight mobile PCs with a thin screen. They are often called notebook computers because of their small size. Laptops can operate on batteries, so you can take them anywhere, unlike desktop computers. Laptop combines the CPU, the screen, and the keyboard in a single case. The screen folds down onto the keyboard when not in use. Tablets. After laptops, computers were further miniaturized to develop machines that have processing power of a desktop but are small enough to be heard on one's palm. Tablets have touch sensitive screen of typically 5 to 10 inches, where one finger is used to touch icons and invoke applications. Examples of tablets are the iPad and the Samsung tablet. Handheld computers, also called personal digital assistants PDAs, are battery powered computers small enough to carry almost anywhere. Although not as powerful as desktop or laptops, handhelds are usually used for scheduling appointments, storing addresses and phone numbers, and playing games. Some have more advanced capabilities such as making telephone calls or accessing the internet. Instead of keyboards, handhelds have touch screens that you use with your finger or have a silo pen. Embedded computers. Embedded computers are fixed into products designed to perform specific functions such as such products are mostly household appliances and cars. Embedded computers are put into household appliances and electronic devices like dishwashers, microwaves, washing machines, and coffee makers in order to perform designated tasks. Classification by functionalities. We will classify computers by functionality. We have servers, we have workstations, we have information appliances, we have embedded computers. Servers. Servers are nothing but dedicated computers which are set up to offer some services to the clients. They are named depending on the type of services they offer. Example, we have security server, we have database server, we have web hosting servers, and also have storage servers, and also file servers workstations. Those are the computers designed to primarily to be used by a single user at a time. They run multi-user operating systems. They are the ones which we use for our day-to-day -day personal and commercial work. Information appliances. They are the portable devices which are designed to perform a limited set of tasks like basic calculation, play multimedia, browsing internet etc they are generally referred as the mobile devices 
they have very limited memory and are very flexible. Embedded computers. They are the computing devices which are used in other machines to serve limited set of requirements. They follow instructions from the non-volatile memory and they are not required to execute, reboot or reset. The processing units used in such device work to those basic requirements only and are different from the ones that are used in personal computers but are known as workstations. Embedded computers can be found on dishwashers, washing machine and other computer enabled devices. Classification by data handling. When we classify computers by the type of data they handle, we have digital, analog, and hybrid. A digital computer is a computer that stores and performs a series of mathematical and logical operations on data expressed as discrete signals, interpreted as numbers, usually in base 10, binary notation referred to as binary digits or bits, that is 0 and 1, which is the language of the computer. These computers are designed to handle digital signals which are finite in nature. They work with discrete values or quantities, such as 1, 2, 3, 2, 9. Digital computers can be used for computation of figures through addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and compression. Examples of digital computers are calculators, adding machines, and personal computers like desktops, laptops, tablets, as well as handheld computers. The left hand side is an analog computer and the right hand side is a digital computer. An analog computer. An analog computer uses a variable physical quantity such as voltage to represent data and process data in the form of electrical voltages. Analog signals are different from digital signals in that they originate as continuous variable or liable to change. They are made into measuring instruments with pointers on thread or circular dice. Analog computers are common in our homes and examples are the thermometer, measuring scales, barometer and the speedometer. Hybrid computers. A hybrid computer is a type of computer that offers the functionalities of both a digital and an analog computer. It is designed to include a working analog unit that is powerful for calculations, yet has a readily available digital memory and a digital display unit. Example of a hybrid computer are the money counting machine, the automated teller machine which is the ATM, and the fuel dispensing machine we also have other hybrid computers. Thank you for watching this lesson. If you are not subscribed to One Stop Academy, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If you like this video, click the like button. Watch out for part 3, History of Computers. Thank you.